back to my channel ace love i'm glad to see you back again today is a different video okay you guys i'm here to talk about this app that i have been using since october 2018. now some of you guys probably already know about it but it's called digit app i'm absolutely in love with this app okay i know there are several apps like it but this one is phenomenal I hope I said the right right. Because <laughs> I usually don't use that word. But anyway, it's off the chain. I absolutely love it. Now, if you're about saving money, yes, saving money, then stay tuned. All right, you guys, let me tell you a little bit about Digit since I've been using it. Digit takes some of your cash flow from your account and put it into a Digit account, which is an FDIC uh, insured account. So nobody can get into it, nobody can take your coins you're certified up to $250,000, okay? I wish I had that much. But anyway, you're certified up to that amount, okay? So what the guys do, they look at your algorithms uh, about how much you're spending, what is coming out your account, when it's coming, out, coming in your account. It's looking at everything. And it slowly starts to take $5 to $50, which I've never had it taken 50 The highest I think it ever took in out my account I want to say, truthfully, I want to say $18. And I didn't even notice it, you guys. I didn't even notice it. And um, I'm pretty tight with my money. But since I've been using Digit, to be truthful with you, it's like you set, you set it and you forget it. And what I mean by you set it, you set up the goals that you want, okay? Meaning if you want a vacation um, to Miami, next next year you want to save twelve hundred dollars so it's going to round up the days that you're going to be down there and it's going to say okay to get that amount of money you need to have this much every month it's going to pull it from your account into that digit account okay constantly it's going to pull it okay it's not, and, and the kicker so some of y'all won't have an anxiety attack like, oh hell no i don't want somebody taking money from my account you can go into the digit uh, app and tell it to stop, pause, or take. You have all the control with this app, you guys. I, I, I'm like, I love this app. I'm telling you, and I can't wait to show you guys in a few minutes the goals that I have and the money that I have in there. Like I have a budget for my credit cards. I have a vacation fund. I have a rainy day fund. I have a gift fund for myself. Um, I got a girl's night out fund where I can go in there and I have a goal of $150 in that one um, account. So my girl's calling me Saturday say, hey, we're going to go out. I'm saying, we in. They say, well, we're going to go out next Saturday. I'm saying, okay, cool, I'm good. So all I got to do is go into my app and say transfer $50. And it's in my account the next day. Love it. I absolutely love it, you guys. Um, oh, I did write some stuff down because I know I'd be all over the place. So, let me tell you a little some pros about this, okay, you guys? Um, it's automatic savings, okay? It's not the type where you got to get up and go to the bank and um, say, hey, I need to withdraw $80 and put it into this savings account. It's automatic. You set it and forget it. And literally, you guys, that's what I did. And in my uh, credit card debt account budget one, I think I have like $600 already. I did not know until today and I was so excited. I was like, I don't even know if I want to use it for that. But I'm going to use it. Believe that. Okay. So another thing is um, easy goals short term. It could be long term if you want it. But I personally use it for short term. Like if you want to take a vacation within a year or two. Um, if you want to pay off a credit card, if you want help with your student loan, if you want to purchase um, a car, I, I don't see nothing wrong with using it. Using this app is so affordable and it's it's just off the chain. I, I'm just so excited about it. And I, I don't, I would not come on here and try and promote something that is not good, okay? So another one I have is if you have people sign up underneath you, and I know people will be like, it's a scam already. But when you have other people sign up to try the app, you get $5, okay? Who don't mind having $5 for an app that you're going to use? 
you're gonna use it and I'm telling you I use it this girl use it okay I'm telling you I use it and another benefit is that you get 1% annual bonus uh, every three months you get 1% back it'd be nice if it was 5% but hey I'll take that 1% who wouldn't okay so I can only come up with two cons so far one of the cons is $2.99 a month okay I could deal with $2.99 I don't have a problem with $2.99. I can afford $2.99. But some of you guys are like, I don't want to pay $2.99. The benefits outweighs the $2.99, you guys. You guys, it's taking the money out your account. And it communicates with you. You will get email, not emails. You will get text messages from me on a daily basis. And not only that, do you guys, let me fill you in on something. It will say, hey, you had $171 taken out your account. But it's not for them, it's for somebody else. It alerts you when things are going on with your own account. Like I said, they're looking at your account. So some days it won't even take money out because like, hey, hold up. I see you got two automatic deposit, not deposits, two automatic withdrawals going out today. So we're not gonna take no money out their account. I'm telling you guys, you even have a hundred day free use of the app. A hundred days. That's all, that's all you need to do is just try for a hundred days. Matter of fact, do you do a hundred days? Do 80 days of trying this app. I guarantee you will like it, okay? And if you don't, it's free. You just go on there and cancel it. It's free. You get your money back. Like, literally the next day, you just hit the button, and it goes right back to your account. You have nothing to lose. Um, yeah, those are my pros and cons. Um, I hate when I say um. But anyway, you guys, stay tuned, and I'm going to give you a quick review over it so you guys can see literally see what i have on my digit okay all right you guys so right here you can see a screen view of my digit dashboard and i'm just going to scroll through here so you can see the categories that i have some of them is the uh, rainy day the credit card the girls night the travel gift cards and underneath them you will see the amount that i'm trying to save up to and the date that I plan to have it done. So you can add any of these anytime you want and I will show you how to add on to any future plans you might have. So let's go ahead and click on here. And right now what you see is an overview of some of their um, pre-planned goals that you can select on. Um, these are some that I pretty much had before, but I think I'm gonna create one and the one I'm going to create will be, um, let's see, let's try Christmas. We'll go for Christmas gifts. Let's see, Christmas gifts here. And now I've got to pick the emoji. They have several emojis you can pick. I think I like the money emoji because Christmas always deals with money. So after you do that, you just got to set the amount that you want to save up for. And if you decide whatever amount fits you, you're going to go down and select the date that you'd want to have that amount fulfilled by. And once you do that, you're just going to click on the date and hit save. And there you go. You have you a new goal and uh, a new category. So I hope you guys like that quick walkthrough with the Digit app. And this is the dashboard. All right. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Don't forget to check it out.